WordPress has a vulnerability which could lead to whole backend takeover and in this video we're going to talk about XXE and how it will lead to SSRF. So before moving on with the video, let's first have a quick overview of what XML language is. So what is XML? XML stands for Extensible Markup Language. It is used to transfer data between the application and the server on the network. These days, JSON format is mostly used but some applications are still using XML format for transferring data. Let's have a look at the first slide. This is how the XML looks like. This is the basic syntax. It's kind of like HTML. So we start with the XML version and then we define tags. Unlike HTML, these are not predefined tags. These tags are defined by us and it can be literally anything. Just like I'm using a processor tag here, this is called the root element and then goes the sub element and then its value that is Intel and then generation 2 of. So that's how it looks like. There is something called DDD file that is used in XML and this DDD file contain declarations that define the structure of the XML document. These files consist of entities. You can think of entities like variables, like variable have a value just like that entity also has a value and it tells the XML parser what needs to be done. DDD file is declared with this keyword doc type element and then we specify the name of the element and then its value. In this case, it's name that is the entity and John is the value. So when in the XML document, if I'm writing ampersand name, then that name will be replaced with John value. You can either define DTD internally in an XML file or externally. When you define a DTD file externally, you need to specify the location of that DTD file in the XML document. Okay, so this is the basic knowledge you need for this video. Now I'm going to move to the next part in the practical video where I'll show you how you can use XML in a malicious way. So we are going to use a lab from TryHackMe for demonstration purpose and I'm going to give this link in the description. Here I have my target IP. I'm going to copy it and start an nmap scan. So nmap hyphen sv for version detection and then hyphen sc for running default scripts. Uh, make it faster and scan on this IP. This is gonna take a while so let's have a look at our WordPress site. And here it is, a simple WordPress site, just another WordPress. And hello world, welcome to WordPress, this is your first post, edit or delete it, whatever. And over here there is a link. Nothing here, just a random search bar. Okay, let's have a look at the Vapalizer and it says it WordPress version 5.6.2 programming language PHP database is my SQL. That's pretty important and crucial information. And, and map scan is complete. Port 22 open SSH and port 80 of course. And it says Apache 2.4.18 my SQL 5.7.33. Okay, that's cool. Let's move on to login page of WordPress. Okay, normally when you see a WordPress site, you have to find out the credentials. Some way are exploiting some other vulnerabilities that could give you the credentials of this site. And when you log in and you get in the dashboard, that's where the important thing starts, especially for this video. This video is about covering that specific vulnerability when you enter that dashboard, not some exploiting a WordPress site. So this TryHackMe room has already given us the credentials for this website. If I go back and scroll down over here, we can see these are the credentials for user and password, test corp and test. You know what? Let's also start WP scan since this is really important when you are in a WordPress site, you should always do a WP scan. So if you don't have Vapalizer, you can start a WP scan and it probably will give you the same result. So hyphen E for admiration. Okay, this dashboard is loaded, but we are going to look at it. 
after the WordPress scan. We can see that the scanner has identified WordPress version 5.6.2 and it says it's insecure. So let's say you don't know what this version is and from scanner you find out this version. So what you're gonna do is basically search this up on Google, right? Let's have a look at this one. And over here it says WordPress is prone to multiple vulnerabilities including XML external entity injection and information disclosure vulnerability. This could allow an attacker to obtain sensitive information which could be used to launch further attacks and we're gonna look what that further attack is in this video. So stay with me. Getting back to dashboard and in the media library, we have options to upload media files like document, audio files or images. This feature is vulnerable because of how XML data is parsed. What we are going to do here is that we are going to upload a WAV file. This is an audio file with the .wav extension. It stands for Waveform Audio File Format. And this WAV file is going to have some malicious XML in it, which will help us in performing XXE. So click on add new, then select file, and before uploading here, let's have a look at those files. I'm gonna control C to stop this scan, and I'm gonna move to my download folders. In the THM folder, I have this folder called CVE20212947. And here we have two files, a payload.wav file and evil.dtd file. So let's get the payload file first. This file has a single entity which is basically loading a DTD file from the given IP and port. This IP here is going to be my local IP where I'm gonna host these files. Okay, now let's move on and check the second file. As we can see, it consists of two entities. Basically, the first entity is telling the parser to read the WordPress configuration file from this particular location that is var www.html and then base64 encoded. And in the second entity, we are loading that encoded data. So let's start our Python SRTP server and upload that payload.wav file. We should be able to see server logs of fetching the evil.dtd file. And here we go, we can see the get request. We didn't only do XXE but SSRF2 since we forced the server to make a SRTP request at an unintended location which is my local server. Now we just need to base64 decode this. I have this decode.php file here. I'm gonna change its contents. And now in the terminal I'm gonna type php decode.php and there we go. We now have the configuration file of WordPress and here we can see a lot of interesting info like database name, db username and db password. And since it's using my SQL, we can use these credentials to connect to my SQL remotely. I'm gonna copy this in a file. Okay, in the terminal, I'm gonna type in the IP and username, then hyphen P for password. And now we are connected. So the first command would be show database with semicolon, don't forget that. And obviously the most interesting one for us is WordPress DB2. So use WordPress DB2. Okay. 
Okay, the database is changed now and I'm gonna type show tables. Let's check out this wp try underscore users. So the command would be select star from this table and it's going to show us all the users that are present in this table. We can see user corp001 with their email and password. So this password is encrypted, we have to crack it and I'm gonna use John the Ripper for that. Okay, so now we have the decrypted password. Now let's use this creds to log in to the WordPress. Now it's time to upload a reverse shell. In the plugins, we can edit PHP files. From here, I'm going to select a Hello Dolly plugin and replace the current PHP code with the reverse shell code. I have PHP reverse shell in my downloads folder. If you don't have it, you can just download it from pentestmonkey.com. Uh, I'll give the link in the description. Okay, the IP and port is set and now update file. To trigger the payload, we need to change the path to WP content, plugins and hello.php. We got a reverse connection and we are in as www-data which is a low level user. From here on an attacker can enumerate the system and probably will do a horizontal privilege escalation and then a vertical privilege escalation. It totally depends on what are the infos that are present on the system. So it's kind of very dangerous since we were able to log into the system. So this is how you can exploit XXE in WordPress. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and don't forget to like and subscribe.